it's Drain Man here and today I've got a very special video. In today's video we are going to repair the Jumper T16. We are moving through a really cool playlist. It is the Jumper T16 playlist. You can find the logo. It looks just like that. And that logo right there will get you to this playlist. I'll also put a link down in the video description. And with that you can move along through the entire playlist and do all kinds of cool stuff with your radio or if you're just new to FPV or new to this radio you'll be able to get this thing pimped out and working great in no time so what we're going to do in this video is we are going to fix this scroll wheel alright so the first thing I want to do is I want to show you what's going on and then I'm going to show you how to fix it and I'll put a link to the parts that you're going to need down in the video description so real quick if I hold down this button and I go to model select you'll see here's my models let's say I want something for example I want something specific I want the rat right here so I need to scroll down towards it okay that's heading up so I need to go in the other direction I'm going to spin to the right now and as you'll see I'm still going up so if I go left I go up and if I go right I go up it doesn't matter if I'm going left or right on this scroll wheel no matter what I do my thing only works in one direction how can I possibly get anything done with this radio how can I enjoy this radio I, I, there's no way to use this radio so enough said we need to replace it I'm not dealing with that it's either that or throw this radio away so I'm gonna power this guy down and I'm gonna pull it apart there's not much to it there's just um, I think there's six screws I'm gonna go ahead and take those out real quick alright if you're interested in these these are just 3d printed little handle grips that I got offline and I printed them on my printer they're really cool they fit nice and they match pretty cool I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep rocking them but as of right now I like them so I'm using them alright if you were unsure about what just happened all I did is I took two screws out of there I took two screws out of there and I unloosened these two screws. They have not come out yet. Once I turn the radio upside down, they'll both pop out as you can see. Oh, I dropped it. All right, so there's our six screws. Now on top, there's two 2.5 mm nuts. Once we loosen these, this guy's just gonna go plop, so you need to be prepared. All right, so now you're inside. We have made it. This is the easy part, right? We are going to go ahead and zoom in here. And as you can see right here is where your scroll wheel is. If you didn't know that, you can see that by flipping it over. It's right there. So I did previously attempt to fix this. And I want to show you guys what I did. And what I did is I took this whole radio apart. After I took the radio apart, I removed the scroll wheel. After I got the scroll wheel out, I used a special cleaner and then I sprayed it with that cleaner. It's called Deoxit D5 and it improves electronic connections. right it would be perfect we clearly got some type of connection issue with this stupid scroll wheel so if I use some deoxid D5 I should be good to go well I did it and it did work for a little bit and then it stopped working again as you can see because I showed you in the beginning of this video so what I'm doing now is I'm actually going to replace it if you look here with these brand new parts so this is what we're gonna try now hopefully this will fix it so all we've got to do is we've got to pull out a couple screws here and I need you guys to be careful that you don't lose these screws and also that you don't break anything because you can easily break this stuff alright so now that we've got these screws out I'm gonna keep an eye on these screws and what you'll see here if I zoom out just a tad You'll see that I've kept these screws different than the other screws so we don't mix them up or get them lost or confused or anything like that. Okay. Alright, so what we've got here is you've got your scroll wheel. You just literally slide it out nice and easy. Not much to it. And then you've got your pad. So I've got my replacement here. It's the identical part 
with an identical wheel, so nothing is different here. It's not like we're doing an upgrade of any sort. All right, so what we need to do is we have the option of disconnecting here and leaving this ribbon cable, or we can use the one that came with it. I'm gonna recommend to use the one that came with it because we're trying to change as much as we can. So you need to be very, very careful with these parts. All you do is, it's hard to get my fat fingers in there, but you just lift up on it and then you pop out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you on this cable in case you're unsure. So you see that black little tab right there? That's nothing but a clip. So all you do is you peel that up and then once it's in the up position, just like you see here, then the ribbon will slide out. All right, so all we gotta do is slide it in there. And then lock the black clip. Super simple. And then if you want to pick up on it, just give it a very gentle tug that way you know that you've installed it correctly. The next thing to do is to take our roller wheel. If you happen to purchase just the board and not the wheel, that's okay. Put your wheel back in. Me, I bought both parts because I don't know which part is the problem part. If I look at this wheel, I've got some scratches and stuff here, but that's probably just normal. And then other than that, I mean, this is just, just a wheel. But hey, now I've got a spare wheel, I guess. Because it's got to be the board that's malfunctioning, right? I don't know. Who knows? Alright, so you just place it on there and drop it in. Alright, after you've done that, take your screws and drop them in. And then use your driver and put the screws back in. Alright, after I've put all three screws back in, I'll double check my ribbon, make sure it's okay. And then I'm going to flip this over and just make sure that I installed it correctly. Couple clicks, couple slides, and I'm going to be honest, this actually feels a lot better than the other one. Alright, maybe we fixed it, maybe we fixed it. Woo! All right, and then very quickly, we're gonna put the whole thing back together. So just take your back and place it on and put all your screws back in. All right, pilots, so that time has come. We have made it to the other side. We've got the new scroll wheel in. It definitely does feel different. It feels smoother. It's not so gritty. I feel, I feel like we're on the right track. And the scroll wheel feels like it's on the right track, no pun intended. All right, so that is definitely feeling better. I'm truly excited. I hope that it will work. We're gonna find out. Let's go for it. No more messing around. Welcome to OpenTX. Switch warning. All right, moment of truth. Model setup. Let's head down. Uh huh. Let's head up. Uh -huh. Down and up. Down and up. I've got so much precision. If you guys were struggling with your scroll wheel, hopefully you're not, but if you were, this video will get you out of that mess. We'll get you a link to get you the new parts, and this video will show you how to put it in in just a few minutes. All right, pilots, until the next Jumper T16 video, I'll see you on the next one.